Hello Squirrels and welcome back to PPM6 TV. Today what it is, is gun mics off axis. Now I've had quite a few comments asking me about the off axis performance of the gun mics uh, that I've been featuring in my recent videos. So here's a chance to have a listen off axis. What I'm going to do is a couple of videos, maybe three. Um, the first video will be 45 degrees. So this is an AKG 568. You're listening um, at, on at incident, i.e. straight down the barrel of the, the microphone. And then I'm going to pitch it to 45 degrees, and that's what I'm going to, uh, the procedure I'm going to carry out with all the microphones, and you'll get a chance to hear them all. And then what we'll do is we'll move around to the 90, and uh, if there's a lot of interest, then we'll maybe go to 180. But at the moment, uh, my plan is for two videos, first 45 and second um, uh, 90. So, so here we are starting uh, with incident, and now we'll move to 45 degrees on the AKG 568. Now, in case you're interested, I'm trying to keep the capsules at about 90 centimetres uh, from my mouth, and I'm going to try and keep that consistent across all the microphones. And not a bad working distance, of course, depending on how good your camera operator is and how much headroom uh, they like to leave in the shots. Down with headroom, I say. But uh, anyway, this is a, the uh, AKG 568 at 45 degrees, and hopefully you've got enough audio here to compare it with the on-axis audio. And now to the old favourite, the Sennheiser MKH416. Now, uh, during this test, I'm using a Grace Spacebar. Uh, forget your microphones, microphones, sh microphones. What you need is a Grace Spacebar. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I've got the longer one because that was, I, I got it from John. John used to be, John Willett used to be the uh, Grace distributor in the UK. And uh, I got the long one off. I mean, it's, it's, it's ruinously expensive, but it is very exact and it has... Uh, marked graduations on all the mic um, uh, kind of stand holders so that you can uh, measure your 45 degrees um, exactly just by reading it off the base. Very clever stuff from Mr. Grace, but not at all cheap. Let's go to the 45. Et voila, 45 degrees uh, with the Sennheiser MKH416 and uh, the distance uh, to the capsule still holding at about 90 centimeters. So hopefully um, these um, uh, tests will be reproducible in terms of the fair conditions under which all the mics have been tested. Now, I'm guessing that at 45, <laughs> and you're the boom op, your sound supervisor is kicking your backside. That's all I'm saying. We, we got to do better than 45, but it's interesting to see to see what it does, and also maybe to to gauge the, the what what the, what that interference tube is doing. Um, to the sound quality when we start to talk kind of into the tube rather than down the end. Um, uh, we'll move on now. Well, if you ever have a prize for the loudest gun mic, <laughs> this one will probably win it. It's the uh, Audio-Technica AT4073A. There is a B. If you can get your hands on the B, that would be even better. But this was cheap as chips. I suspect the B um, would be a lot more money, and I don't think I've ever seen one for sale. Um, they're about a they were about $1,000 new. Um, and uh, it's, it's an electret, and I think this is nearly 18 or 19 dB load of the AKG. It just goes to show. So the good thing is you're, you're working well within your, your mic preamps uh, parameters. You won't be getting any noise because you're at the extreme end um, of the gain curve. So on to 45 degrees. Here we are at 45 degrees to the Audio Technica. Now, one of the things that interests me is whether the mics have slots uh, behind the, the, the capsule. And, and some of them, I mean, it's obviously very hard to tell with these because they're all in one. Um, some mics seem to have that and others seem not to. So if you're a, a microphone capsule designer, please write in and tell us how it's done and how it should be done. You'll be interested, to, maybe you won't be interested, but uh, during my last video, I discovered that uh, all the AKGs have got... Uh, I've only got slots down one side. I will see that when we get to the to the next one. But we've only got slots down one side of the interference tube. And um, uh, I've forgotten his name now. Aristotle, I think it was, uh, wrote on the comments and said the new Sennheiser uh, 4070, that's the longer gun mic, also has slots only down one side. So maybe AKG was onto something um, uh, before Sennheiser. Who can say? Um, well, we can now listen. Now we'll get on to the we'll get on to the AKG forthwith. And here we are with the AKG uh, SE three hundred B amplifier and CK ninety eight capsule combination. Now this combination is a little bit longer than the other mics in the test, and therefore I would suggest 
maybe going to be more prone to problems off axis. Um, it's also uh, got a, a mic with a generous output, not as loud as the um, Audio Technica by any means, but still pretty loud. Now, the interesting thing is, if you look closely at this, where the capsule is, there are slots all the way around the body of the of the uh, of the mic. But when you get just to the tube, the slots are only on one side. They're on the top here because I've orientated it according to the little diagram that they kindly give you on the mic body. Um, but that does imp look to me as though this is just their hypercardioid capsule with with a, with an interference tube stuck on the end. I don't want to traduce the good people at AKG, uh, and who knows how it, what it sounds like. But that's just what it looks like. Anyway. Let's get to the 45 degrees. And now that uh, CK98 at 45 degrees. And interestingly, the slots are at the top. I'm orientating it according to the diagrams on the mic. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but I think it should be. So the slots are on the top and the rest of the tube is solid all the way around. So in theory, I guess, the off-axis stuff has got to go around the other side or bounce off the ceiling or whatever it is to get into the tube. Um, whereas the, the incident stuff still goes down the end to the extent that it does, because again, this is a longer uh, gun mic than the others in the test. And uh, finally, we get to its more expensive brother. And finally, last but by no means least, the mighty AKG 480 uh, uh, CK69 combination, by far the most expensive mic in the test at over $2,000 new. But it has to be said, a bit of a fan favourite if you read the comments. And interestingly, it's actually a good bit louder uh, than the 568. The 568 needs about 60 dB. This is down closer to 50. So maybe that indicates that the electronics, uh, you're not getting one of these uh, on the sly when you buy a 568. So over to the um, 45 degree test. So the 45 degree test, and as in the uh, CK98, I've got the um, uh, the interference slots at the top, which is kind of how they're indicated on the microphone body, whether that's the right way around or not, I don't know. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this video of 45 degrees. Do look out for 90, which will be coming soon. Same bunch of mics, but at uh, 90 degrees, an even sterner test, you'll say, for the inter interference tube uh, based microphones. Do subscribe to the channel, it does help a lot. And um, thanks for dropping by, and bye for now.